what's up everyone welcome to this video in today's video we are going to do a fun activity in python we are going to create a desktop utility application that we can keep running in the background and it will allow us to take screenshots of our screen whenever we want to so you might be wondering that we already have the windows plus print screen key on the windows desktops or laptops uh, to take screenshot of our screens but in this video I want to demonstrate how we can do the same thing using python so you can kind of customize the way you take screenshots or or it's going to be a fun uh, exercise to do in python so don't come down in the comment section saying that we can already do this in a much easier way i'm not trying to reinvent this thing i'm just trying to show you how we can do this in python as well so without wasting any more time let's get right into this video so right now on my screen as you can see i have a file opened up so i'm going to start by importing few modules so i'm going to need the keyboard module so i'll say import keyboard i'll also need the image grab to take screenshots and let's import that so i'm going to say from pil import image grab all right i'm also going to need time so i'll say import time so what we need to do now is we need to run a while loop so i can say while true all right and inside this while loop i'm going to run a try and accept statement try pass accept exception as e and if we have any errors we are going to print them out so print e and now we can come here get rid of this pass and we can say if keyboard dot is underscore pressed parentheses and inside here we need to specify so this is going to be the key which we are going to press whenever we want to take a screenshot so let's say i want to set that key to s so whenever i will press s on my keyboard uh, the script is going to take a screenshot of my screen and save it in a folder so yeah that's it so if this key is pressed what i want to do is i want to take a screenshot so i'll say image so i'll say screen shot equals to image grab dot grab so this will take the screenshot and then we can save it so i can say screen shot dot save and we need to give it a name so uh, in order to get the unique names for each screenshot what i'm what i'll what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the f string and get the time dot time function into play all right sorry we need to enclose them inside these curly braces just like this so then i can append dot jpg as the extension and also i want to save all my screenshots in this folder this c drive users are the picture screenshots so you can choose whatever folder you like i'm choosing this folder which is in my uh, pictures screenshots so i'm going to save all the screenshots in this folder then what i'm going to do i'm going to log so i'll print screenshot has been taken if everything goes right we are going to get this message a screenshot has been taken all right so let's give it a try so if i run the code now you can see it's running so if i press the s key you can see it's telling me screenshot has been taken so now we need to do a few more things let me get rid of this we need to add a few more things here so i am also going to add a delay so i'll say time dot sleep and i'm going to give it a delay of 1.12 seconds that's because running an infinite loop without any delays is going to consume a lot of memory on your computer and uh, it can slow down your computer this is not a good script to be honest this yeah, it's not recommended and to be used in a in our day-to-day -day lives but this is just an exercise that we are doing in python so yeah so now we have added the delay what else can we do 
we can also display we can also have the preview of the screenshot that we have just taken so in order to do that i can also add one more if statement if keyboard dot is pressed this time we want to check if it's the key p and if it is the key if we have pressed the p key then what we want to do is we want to display screenshot so screenshot dot show just like this so if i save it run the code let's take a screenshot a screenshot has been taken as you can see it here and if i press the preview if i press the p key we should get a preview so you can see we got the preview of our screenshot that we just took so this is it this was a little exercise that we just did in python i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know down in the comment sections if you want to see more exercises like this on this channel so this is it for this video give this video a thumbs up like share subscribe peace out